Welcome to Thriving Thursday. Today we're going to talk about using trial closes in speaking gigs. Um, for many of my clients, they are already using the text function from the stage, so their list building is just on fire, but many of them are experiencing a little bit of trouble with the close. Um, so what are trial closes? Trial closes are getting the yeses as you pitch, and it doesn't have to be an out an out loud pitch or a loud, loud yes. Uh, nods work. Um, the other thing is when you gather support and you ask people, hey, raise your hand. I mean, I actually asked a question last week in a talk I had that um, I said, how many of you have smartphones? And nobody raised their hand. And I was like, come on. And it turned out that, you know, everybody had a smartphone. But it's getting consensus like that and engagement within your talk. So what you're doing is you're seeding the talk to the end, all the way to the end, with no other conclusion but I must purchase. So think about this for a moment. If you are saying yes as somebody in the audience all the way along, what would hold you back from saying no at the end? So here's where we use them. It seems my claim my PowerPoint's completely out of uh, sequence today, but we're gonna go with it anyway. So you can use them at live speak, whoops, sorry about that, at live speaking events webinars and master classes when you do them live and also for recorded webinars and video for sales pages. I think it's actually more important with the last one because the last one is that audio uh, bit that you're doing and it's a little bit harder on the internet to get a consensus. So I think with that uh, medium, you're even going to want to put more yeses that are seeded into the, the, sale, the um, talk. So why do you want to do that? Again, if your audience is nodding their heads yes, or thinking yes, or raising their hand to a yes the whole way through the presentation, they are more likely to say yes after the pitch. I'm gonna give you a great example of this. I sat at an event um, November of last year, and I listened to Suzanne Evans speak. And her talk was so well seated that I was actually, in my mind, I was saying yes, yes, yes. And I said, oh my gosh, if this program is less than F, you know, this dollar amount, I am in. And it actually turned out at the end that it was $2,000 less than what I had set in my mind. So that, in my mind, was a great presentation because not only was I saying yes all the way through, but I was also putting together parameters that would see that yes. So, you know, if this happens or if that happens, my yes was already there. And by the way, I was one of the first people to the back of the room, so I actually got an extra bonus on top of all the bonuses. So that's the way you want Want to really be presenting this. So here are some questions that you can ask during your presentation that will get those yeses going. So are you ready to get started with this? Are you all getting this? I do this a lot during my presentations. I don't move on till say everybody got that? Anybody need some clarity? And you know, I'll take a question in between or I'll see all the nods for yes. Um, can you imagine if this happened to you? You can tell a great story and be able to um, say, can you even imagine if this happened to you? And people will go, you know, oh my gosh, yes, I want that to happen to me. Um, this is what we do when we do use the text fun function from the stage. Who wants a free copy of, and you know, fill in this blueprint, free report, whatever it is that you're getting from the stage. And by the way, if you're speaking and you're not using a text function on the stage, you are missing out on a tremendous amount of list building. So that's what you want, engaged yeses. Here are a few more questions. Isn't that cool? I'm sure you've noticed this too, right? Um, I just did a presentation last week where I did this. Like, you've all seen this in action on social media, right? And everybody in the room shook their head because they've had that awkward moment that I was talking about. Like, can you see yourself doing this? Would you like to be our next case study? I love doing that, that particular one, because it opens up so many avenues for people to say yes. So what you're really doing here is you're getting consent all the way to the bank. And that's what we really want when we're speaking from the stage. See you next Thursday.